circuit diagram for our cool gun. As you can see, we start off with 1.5 volts and it stepped up to a total of 340 volts. Right here is the toggle switch that charges the capacitor. And this is the push button that discharges the capacitor and shoots the cool gun. All right, here is a short clip of our uh, gun charging up with our hand uh, voltmeter, multimeter on it. I uh, just want to show how it charges up to around 340. With a fresh battery, it'll, battery, it'll go up pretty quick. And even with a battery that's been used for a little while, it'll even, it won't take near as long either. Uh, but as you can see, it charges up pretty quick. There's going to be two ways to discharge it. Obviously, the firing button. I'll let it build up a little bit more just to see. It's pretty well stalled out, so I'll, I'm going to hit fire and we'll see what it goes down to. As you can see, it pretty well discharges the capacitor. Uh, that's one way to discharge the capacitor. The other way is using a screwdriver. We calculated the efficiency of our coil gun. We computed the potential energy of the capacitor as one half CV squared with a 100 microfarad capacitor and 340 volts potential difference, and the kinetic energy of the projectile as one half MV squared with a 33 gram projectile and 3.49 meters per second velocity. And the efficiency was the KE divided by the U and times 100, and that gave us 0.035% efficiency. In the end, this is our uh, little coal gun. Not quite what we envisioned when we first saw it. We were thinking like big cannon barrel, shooting 10 pound slugs or something, hooked to a car battery. But with all the limitations we got, this is what we were able to do. And uh, our gun can shoot a BB at a with about 0 0.03 efficiency, which isn't quite much, but most we can get out of this. Uh, everything worked out just pretty well for this. And uh, to conclude, let's see uh, some shots of it in action. Fire!